here. And uh, well, we're on to match five. It's Schell and Vorkman of Germany in mixed doubles that take on Quavranukro and Terra Tanachai. They really have turned a lot of heads with the way that they've been playing all year. The second seeds from Thailand. It's going to be interesting to see how much resistance Patrick Schell and uh, Francisca Vorkman can uh, put up against the second seeds and world number ones from Thailand. Here they are. Well, I made out there that Sapsili Teratana Chai wants to serve. I'm not sure who to, but uh, just a, an early indication of their form. They've won 45 matches this year, their opponents just four. So, and they have ramped up to world number one status as well. Germans at 79th on the rankings as we take a look at uh, Patrick Schell, 23 years of age, from Dachau in Germany, off a career high ranking alongside uh, Franziska. They had a good win over Aurora and Wadkar in mixed doubles in their opening match. There is Francisca. Four years older from Morn. Used to partner Peter Kiesbauer. How will they go today? Good showing against uh, the Indian pair. 36 minutes all they needed. That was out on court three. Uh, that was their Monday win. Now is this where their time runs out against the might of these two? Up to world number one on the rankings where they've spent two weeks there. Since the 7th of December, the Chipon Poivranukro and Satsile Taratanachai, 24 years of age from Chonburi. World Championship silver medalists in 2019, these two. But they've become a lot more solid from two years ago. Five years older is Sapsili. So warm, so welcoming, so gracious, so thankful for all of those lovely gifts that she had received in Bali. She's got time for everybody. They both have lovely, lovely pair and of course the buy for them as second seeds in their opener. Kulkani, who's been kept busy, he's umpiring this one. And Christian Johannesson, the service judge. Well, it's going to be a thankless task for the Germans, I think, because these two, having notched the last four consecutive titles, and big titles as well, have been looking absolutely imperious, haven't they? So it was the high-low open they took in Germany, and then all three titles on the Bali swing, the Indonesia Masters Open and the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals as well. So just outstanding. And uh, on that basis, you'd imagine they will munch through this. But of course, it's their first showing here, and Steen, we've mentioned it before, haven't we? always takes a little while for any pairing they're human after all to find their timing and settle down these guys from germany have had a win already uh, I'm, I'm actually not sure about the terra chanachai i'm not sure she's human she played <laughs> her 50th match yes. in the final of the world tour finals since the beginning of the sudirman cup that was in uh, september 26th september so in almost two months' time, she's played 50 matches. Yeah, contesting women's doubles as well, of course. Incredible. 
She always said that she should have a banana, go for a little jog round. It's her rituals that have kept her in such good shape. Doing very well at 29 years of age. Wow, high class opening point from both pairs. Really good. <laughs> that chip on with a wry smile there as if to say, golly, if that's what we're in for. Yeah. Could be a long morning or afternoon. And I mean, given the previous performances um, and how things unfolded yesterday, they must be um, the hot favorites now to um, claim the uh, World Championship since um, John Siwei and Hoi Hachon, two-time world champion, uh, lost out yesterday in shocking yes, defeat. Wasn't it? Yeah. It's not going to be easy, but um, they definitely have a chance to go one better than uh, in Basel. Yeah. So we've got uh, Matthias Turian near So Patrick's of yours, the Danes, who received a walkover against the Rivaldi and Mentari, of course, because the Indonesians withdrew. So they lie in wait for the winner of this match. Seeing that Jung Se Wei and Huang Yao Chong is out might sort of uh, create a little bit uh, unrest in the uh, other mixed doubles contenders, just like in the men's singles where Axelsen uh, lost in the first round against uh, Lo Kin Yu. Suddenly those two disciplines are uh, off for grabs. Many players' pairs have a chance to uh, take the title. The good thing, of course, is to uh, focus entirely on the next match you're playing. You don't have to necessarily be the best pair in the tournament. You just have to be the best pair of the match. Yeah. Yeah, and opportunity he, beckons all around. Yeah, and here, here there's no doubt that um, it's a mismatch in terms of um, playing strength. Shire and uh, Folkman normally playing on the... Uh, European circuits, whilst the ties are top of the uh, world tour. So, probably the biggest match ever for the two Germans. Oh, that's nice. Look at that kind of response. Thought it was a pretty decent return of serve, to be honest. That chip on didn't. They've had so much thrown at them, haven't they, over the last two years or so, and they've built just incredible, repeatable solidity. Remarkable. The only disappointment, the Olympics, where they. Uh was out in the group stage against Ellison Smith and uh, didn't get um, the seeding for the uh, knockout uh, stage draw and uh, ended up in trouble there out of the uh, medal race. That'll feel good. Oh, that's a beauty. That's just cheeky. <laughs> Really good from Subsidy. Seemed like she was hanging in the air there. Yeah, yeah, Michael Jordan hang time. Good defense by Charles.
the oh, shot. Terrific. Yeah, it's very characteristic for the Germans. Most of their mixed doubles pairs, they really play conceptual mixed doubles from the device. We're not lifting. If you uh, want to lift from us, you're going to have to force it, and that's a good plan. Nice time. Yeah, really good. Really encouraging for the Europeans. They've responded really very, very well, haven't they? And of course it's early doors, but generally, you know, the quality of rally and what they're bringing is uh, it's quite, quite good. And I like the idea of having a concept, a game plan for how you want to play and then develop it and uh, extend it for the obstacles you meet on your way. Seven point cushion at the interval for the world number ones. Welcome the technical officials on court number one. Arbitro, umpire, Jess Fajera Larson, Denmark. Fue de servicio, service judge, Cornelia Svolda, Germany. Demos la bienvenida a los jugadores de la pista número uno. Please. No, no, it's got a point there from the world number ones. Number one. Tell you what, I bet if they're you were them, Steen, you'll be grateful for a break at the end of the year after this. Last uh, tournament on the BWF Tour calendar, of course. Uh, no? If you're winning, yeah, true, then true, uh, things become easier. True. But they must be absolutely knackered. Individual masculino, men Igor Coelho, Brazil. They're not entered into an India Open, I can tell you that. The uh, first World Tour tournament of the new year, played in uh, mid January in Delhi. Uber alert around the front court. All the bars on the internet signal. I like the way she just flicked the shuttle back to him as if to say, come on, have another go. <laughs> <laughs> Service errors all round. All left. Yeah, she, the, the service judge down this end has, has parted her arms immediately. I think it was a late decision. The umpire was unaware of that. Yeah, she's uh, just yeah. confirming it was wide.
Too much. Nice try though. Good leave from uh, Francisca. Well, the Germans were on top then, Steve. But, yeah, it's just the, the ability, isn't it, of the world number ones to just turn points like that around their way so and quickly. He, he's so good at taking it early in the midcourt yeah, mid area. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of players um, get a little bit hesitant there, but he is so good at it, uh, Dejapun. And that creates a lot of opportunity. and. More importantly, it creates control over the rally. game points for the world number ones who have looked very very good in their opening match here yeah good judgment from Dechipon again and uh, they whiz round to grab their kit bags secure in the opening game emphatically 21 points to 7 after 12 minutes it's been no nonsense from the ties Well, we've seen a really dominant seeded performance in the women's doubles just prior to this by Lee and Shin. And now the second seeds from Thailand looking equally as dictatorial.
Super quick. Pouncing all over that, Sapsili. Very sharp. They do a lot of multi-ball juggling in ties in warming up for every match. It's something to watch. It really is very, very good. And I spoke to Deschampon about it when I crossed him in the corridor in Bali towards the back end of that uh, one of those events. And he was saying, yeah, it just warms up the brain. Gets us all uh, very alert mentally. It's like watching something out of the Matrix film, how they dodge the bullets. You know, it's kind of like that, really. It's just otherworldly. It's really worth taking a look at it. You can sneak a glimpse of their warm-ups. I mean, look how quick they are. Just a step ahead most of the time. It's remarkable. I mean, look, incredible high-quality point from the second seeds. It's just otherworldly, isn't it? They're reflexively in a different dimension right now. It's just outstanding. Look at that. <laughs> Even Sapsiri is nodding her head in acknowledgement of the brilliance there. Look at that. Terrific from Dechipon. Smash there. Yeah. He's got good pace, hasn't he? Uh, child. It's, um, apart from that, uh, and apart from the fact that they've played so many matches and really have experienced success in, in Bali and lots of court time, otherwise, they would probably think this match was a little bit, they would have wanted a little bit more um, resistance. a chance to save mental energy it can be very uh, tough and I think that was one of the things that played into uh, Mick Axelson's mind he had a really tough match against Loki and you in the first round and there was just so long a way to go to the weekend and uh, more tough matches were um, scheduled in the, in the program and um, I just think you got too much so sometimes it's nice to be able to save some mental energy in the first couple of rounds whilst to um, get used to the uh, arena and the timing and stuff like that yeah it's just so hard isn't it uh, for all of these pros not to get ahead of themselves and then go oh god really have I got all that to go you know yeah and if, if you start thinking ahead if you start thinking about the entirety of the tournament instead of just focusing it's overwhelming it's one day let me see if i can earn my spot in tomorrow's order of play yeah yeah by all accounts he was a little ratty wasn't he uh victor you know during the match a little bit tired the reactions weren't that the same totally understandable yeah of course with what he's done what are the seven titles he's notched this year already quite outstanding Germans are quitting themselves pretty well in the second game here.
like you say, his abilities through the midcourt are just exemplary right now, aren't they, Dechapon? It's just a blur of pace coming at you from an opponent's perspective. Oh, do behave. <laughs> I think it, it, it's really interesting, Steve, you were saying about the, the, the fact that the Germans are quite sort of, um, you can almost preempt the fact they're not going to lift much. So I think on that basis, the ties are closing the net down together as much as they can quite quickly in the yeah. point, right? So it makes for not an easy read, but, you know. openings on the side of Povera uh, Nukro and Tera Chai. Yeah, very similar look to the opening game. It's not that the Germans are playing badly, they've just been absolutely smothered by the all-out assault from the Thais. Oh, that's a brilliant point from the German pairing. Superb. What a turnaround that was. Uh, good defense. Yeah. And then the uh, courage to play the front court yeah. when coming forward. That's definitely mm -hmm. something that uh, she can take home and uh, use in uh, practice. Francisca Falkman.
become winning machines, these two, haven't they? They have. Good pace. Well, these two have uh, exceeded their score tally in the opening game, which is commendable. Can they get to double figures? <laughs> it should have been much flatter. That cross, if he uh, should have been unable to get under it there. He's so quick on his feet. Don't you pump. Lucky little nibble off the net as well going their way. It's all uh, rolling along very smoothly, the tie campaign right now. The title bit very much uh, up and running. Three points for victory. Well played. She's pleased with herself there. Shanghai getting it on the uh, other side of the uh, Francisco Falkman. Well, for a big man, he was pretty alert to the flick serve, wasn't he? There, Patrick Shell got back quickly and uh, put it in reverse and. Gave it the treatment. Well, freshly crowned world number ones looking good. Eight match points. Fast. He's done a few of them, hasn't he? Yeah, he's good reason to smile. Well played, sir. <laughs> Just another seven of those will do it. Well, the hunt for a fifth consecutive title still very much alive for the world number one. Sparva Nuko and Taratanachai looking red hot in their quest for more silverware an accolade they're decorated and heralded already coming through 21 7 21 13 the ties rampant head through having received a buy in their opening round to round three where it'll be a couple of danes that lie in wait confirmation of the score Fairly emphatic, and all just inside half an hour, they needed very, very solid showing. Well, in match six, can the Axelson Slayer from Singapore, Lo Kian Yu, go deep here, having cleared his path at the bottom of the men's singles draw? Singaporean looking good. He takes on that Luca Raba. And that one. Do join us for that. It's up next.
beautiful pictures here of, of uh, Huelva in the uh, Delta 